What's up, guys? So today, guys, is April 1st, and a tragic event has happened um, yesterday. It actually happened yesterday. And I didn't think it was going to hit me this hard, but looking back and all the at all the videos and the great things and the great person this dude was um it just kind of just uh hit me a little bit harder but uh today's april 1st yesterday was march 31st and nipsey hustle was shot and killed in his hometown of south central outside of his clothing store in his own hood and if you think of that that's just crazy man one of his own bro like where where can you go if you can't if you can't be comfortable in your own hood you know what i'm saying and uh i'm not gonna make this long but uh Uh, on Wednesday, so about three days ago, uh, I was dropping off a, a customer. I drive Uber uh, on my days off from work, but uh, Uber had me drop off somebody right there in South Central LA, uh, Slauson and Western. And you know what? I got out of the car, I went to the 7 Eleven, and it was hood man it was hood i didn't know where i was at you know i live in alhambra good ass neighborhood i was born and raised in san dimas so you know i i've been to hoods and i've been to you know i've been to all parts of la but at two in the morning uh, on slauson and western do not get out of the car do not get out of the car. Um, not only is that that area just bad, it's a it's gang it's gang infested right there. It's a rolling sixty Crips, and um, so I was very interested uh, on Wednesday, like where I was. I picked up another dude from Starbucks, and he was telling me, "Don't ever get out of the car right here. You're lucky you didn't get robbed." Like I'm a big ass dude. I'm six foot three. I'm uh, 200 pounds, and I fought professionally, uh, you know, so I know I can defend myself, so I, I kind of walk into places like, you know, I'm not scared and, and whatnot, and I'm not, but um, all it takes is somebody to put that pistol to your back, hey, give me your wallet, count your money for me, you know, so... Um, Anyways, long story short, so, uh, yeah, I was in that, that neighborhood on Wednesday, Slauson and Western, and it's where, uh, Nipsey Hussle grew up, you know, he's a, he's a rolling 60 crip too, and, uh, it just got me really interested, because the feeling I felt when I was in that area was like, damn, it, it was kind of like a movie, you know, even just at the 7-Eleven, it was like a movie, bro. And um, it got me really uh, looking into uh, Rolling 60 Crips and that whole area. And the first thing I, I typed in, Rolling 60 Crips on, on Google. This was on Wednesday. Um, and Nipsey Hussle's name came up first. And I was like, Nipsey Hussle? He's from Rolling 60s? Nipsey Hussle... He, I, I, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I listened to Nipsey Hussle maybe about ten years ago, uh, about eight to ten years ago when he was uh, when he made that song "Feeling Myself." That's the first time I heard Nipsey Hussle, and I really didn't follow and continue. I didn't continue and follow his career um, uh, this whole way. But uh, on Wednesday, I went and I looked up Rolling 60 Crips and Nipsey Hussle's uh, face came up. So I, I, I Googled Nipsey Hussle and I was just watching all his interviews and, and, and 
you know, all his, his dreams and aspirations and everything. And I was watching a bunch of videos and I was like, dude, this dude is bad. Like, I never really got to know him, but like, I was like, dude, this guy is awesome, bro. Like, this dude has a good head on his shoulders. He came from the hood and he's trying to do good for the hood. Guys, as you know, yesterday, March 31st, uh, Sunday night, I, I, I'm scrolling through Instagram and there's this, this, uh, this picture on Instagram saying Nipsey Hussle was shot and killed an hour before. And I, I had to go to TMZ.com and, and, you know, confirm it. And I didn't believe it, but on TMZ, there was a big article saying Nipsey Hussle has just been shot and killed in South Central LA in his own hood. So it actually hit me, guys. It just, it's hitting me really hard because I was just, I was just, um, I don't know, checking this dude out and, uh, just was I actually when I was watching his interviews I was getting, getting a real liking for him you know what I'm saying I'm like damn why haven't I kept up with this dude and uh, a couple days later now he's dead but uh yeah man um I'm gonna leave you guys with this you know life is short and uh the people that you love aren't here forever. Um, I just uh, cherish the people around you and cherish the people that, you know, show you love, show them love back. Don't just, I know a lot of us have a, a lot of us tend to, to shine off people that are always there for us, you know? But we got to be there for those people, not just, you know what I'm saying? We got to be there for the ones that we love. All right, guys. Uh, just wanted to share that with you. Um, I'm going to actually go head out to uh, Slauson. I'm going to go head out to his shop right now and uh, check out, uh, just be right there at the scene because I feel like, I don't know, my heart's tugging right now. So um, I want to be there at the scene. I'll get you guys some footage. All right. All right, peace, guys. Thanks for tuning in.